What I wanted to show today on the CircuitPython Parsec is how to set up dot star LEDs. So dot star LEDs are very similar to NeoPixels, but they use two wires instead of just one for their connection to your microcontroller. They have data and clock. What this does is it opens up a lot of boards that can run them without the timing restrictions that are necessary to run a NeoPixel, and they can be run much faster, so you can do things like persistence of vision projects. So here's how you set up dot stars in CircuitPython. First of all, you import adafruit.star as dot star. Then I'm setting a variable, num dots, that says how many I have. So you can see here I have a little 64 dot star grid. Uh, and then I'm creating the dots object by saying dots equals dot star dot star. I'm setting the clock to the board SCK. So this is running over SPI. And I'm setting the uh, data on MOSI. Then I say how many dots I'm using, the brightness I want to start at, and if I'm using auto write. You can use this on regular GPIO pins as well, but it is much faster running it over SPI. In my main loop here, you can see when it runs, it's going to pick a random color for every dot there and display that. Now you can also do things like instead of hitting every individual dot, we can run the whole display all at once. Uh, and so the call for these is simply dots.fill, and then I'm giving it a tuple of RGB colors. Or in the case of individual dots, I'm saying dots dot, and then anywhere 0 to 63 in this case, you can call out one individual dot and set its color, and then we get the multicolor effect. And so that is how you can set up and use dot star RGB LEDs inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.